having a question answering system that leverages your company's private data. It keeps it secure and then it can get aligned to any business domain within your company. This is pure gold from a productivity standpoint. And Microsoft just released an AI accelerator that does exactly that. The chat with your data solution accelerator offers an end to end rag pattern implementation. It uses cognitive search as its backbone and that's similar to other solutions that they built in the past. But this one allows developers the freedom to properly customize it. And this makes sure that you can fit it to any business requirement for almost any business domain. And we're going to implement this in a second, but I just want to point this out because this accelerator is robust enough, right? And it handles a lot of customization so that you can meet any client requirements. And there is still need for custom work on top of this, of course, depending on the use case and depending on your company's data policies. But the bulk of the work has been done, you know, so you can get started with it immediately. So let's see how we can run this. We go to this repo here and I'm going to add the link to it in the description. Here we have all the details about what you can achieve, what features exist and the prerequisites that we need. And if we look at the features, it's great, right? We can chat with an Azure OpenAI model using our own data, but we can both upload a lot of document types and we can also index public pages. So your company's documentation can be easily accessed. And for example, your customer support agent can answer questions faster than ever. And another great feature is the ability to configure your prompts. So you can engineer these prompts to get the maximum value from the model outputs. Again, all of these features, right, from indexing to prompt engineering, need further development based on your needs. But that's the point of this accelerator, to get you up and running fast and think about refining later. Because if we look at the prerequisites, we just need two things, right? We need an Azure subscription and access to an Azure OpenAI resource. Assuming you have both, let's run this bad boy and see how fast we can get it to work. We're going to start by clicking on Deploy to Azure. And this will create a custom deployment based on a template. You can see that there are 18 resources and you just need to complete a couple of fields. First, we're going to create a new resource group so that you can easily manage this later on. Then we're going to add the resource prefix. This will be added to each resource that is created and also will be added to the web app's name. So choose something nicer than I do, something that is more representative of your use case. Then you need to provide the name of the Azure OpenAI service and the key as well for this resource. And finally, you need to provide an orchestration strategy. This depends a lot on the model that you use in the deployment. I use 3.5 Turbo and the model is 0613. So I'm going to choose OpenAI functions. Also make sure that in your OpenAI resource, you have two deployments, both GPT 3.5 Turbo and then add a text embedding. And make sure the deployment names are in this format because otherwise you're going to need to change them in the app settings. After all of this is done and it's not much, right? You can create the deployment. It takes about eight to 10 minutes to create everything. But once it's deployed, all you need to do is upload the data. For this example, I downloaded two pet insurance documents, both publicly available, one from pet plan and the other from many pets. In order to upload the documents, we have an admin section available. And I think this is great because here we can upload the documents. We can re-index them whenever we want. We can add new ones. And also we can configure the prompts if we want further customization. And I uploaded the documents. And as you can see here, the embedding computation takes a couple of minutes. What I noticed is that it takes a little bit longer than that, because after five to 10 minutes, I tried to ask some questions and I got these responses that the information is not in the knowledge base. And I also got a funny one that if my pet is ill, I should take the appropriate action to address the issue. I mean, thanks. Yeah, but <laughs> not much of a help. But then I decided to reprocess all the documents again. And after that, after like three, four minutes, I tried again to ask some questions. As you can see, if I ask what is a pre-existing condition, I finally get an appropriate response. Also, I get the link to the reference. I can see exactly in which document the answer is found and also the exact part. I can click it and then I can see the exact caption from the document so I can check if the information is correct. Let's see. Now I'm going to ask when can the insurer cancel the policy? And again, a great response pretty detailed and with a reference to where the information is found in the document. I think this AI accelerator is great. It looks great, it behaves correctly, and it's easy to get started with. And I'm going to play around with some configs in the next days because I want to check out other use cases. So if you need help with getting started with your own Q&A system, definitely reach out because this is what we do at Decision Forest. We can transform your business with AI powered solutions and we're going to make sure that you go from zero to value in no time. That's it from mine for now. Let me know if you want me to do a follow up with some more findings and customizations for this solution. And as always, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you in the next one.